Hey guys, who are we all? So welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a reading for the next seven days for Taurus. So if you have Taurus as your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury or North Node placement in your birth chart, this reading will be for you. This will be a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this reading, it's where it's most likely to resonate for you and not necessarily just when I post the video. So if you do happen to see this at a later date, please don't be overly concerned by that as there may still be messages in here for you. This is also a general reading, so with the messages, please only take what you feel resonates and leave the rest. And please use your own sense of discernment with these messages and not force them to fit with a particular situation. So guys, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for your patience and understanding as I've been MIA um, a little bit longer than um, I was potentially planning. I had some things I needed to sort out, uh, sort out okay, um, in regards to my end on my own personal life here. So thank you for um, kind of not uh, scarpering off here, guys. I do appreciate it that you've been sticking by me in the channel. So thank you. Um, but anyway, enough of that. We're going to get into your reading now. So this is the Modern Witch Tarot that we're using today. So angels of love and light, we please have clear and concise messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node placements. What do they need to know in regards to the current energies for the next seven days? What do they need to know, please? And thank you. OK, two more shuffles and then we'll get into your reading. So thank you for your patience. I greatly appreciate it. OK. Let's find out what's going on. Okay, that wanted to show through. Oh, there's a few cards there. Okay, two. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Sun, Leo energy. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> Good. Goodness me. Wow. Okay, so yeah, hard work is paying off and it's paying off big time. You guys are going to be entering very soon, okay? I'm hearing very, very soon. A very fortuitous, I'm hearing new beginning in your life. There's brand new, fresh energy. Um, that's just going to make you feel really, really good about yourself. Um, loving life, I'm hearing, okay? Finally, in that position and place where you're thriving rather than surviving, um, you could be someone who has been so entirely focused on your career, on your finances, on certain projects here. But what I'm picking up on is that you ultimately are coming into this beautiful new kind of chapter in your life where things are genuinely working out for you and your highest good. And I feel like you know it to be true that even though if you've dealt with trials, tribulations, challenges in the past, you've overcome these, okay, and you're about to be very abundantly blessed by the universe, okay, and I'm not picking up on just this one big pentacle over here, I'm picking up on lots of different types of forms of abundance, okay, whether that is good health, whether that is more streams of income to do with your finances, a brand new job opportunity, or um, for instance, you go for an interview for a job and you get given the position and then they kind of um, give you more pay um, than you previously may have discussed at the interview, okay, for some reason. I'm getting that there could have been like a competitive salary, but this person, whoever has interviewed you, has seen great potential and they want to entice you by kind of working alongside with them um, and I'm hearing really make it worth your while because I'm hearing you would be a great asset to the team which is really interesting um, terminology here but um, there could also be a potential that you've been working very diligently and saving up your money and you're like I am now ready to be able to a purchase I'm hearing a big ticket item so for some of you, you could be getting ready to put down a deposit for a mortgage um, or you're moving into a new home soon or potentially you finally feel like you have enough support um, and backing in regards to your material world whereby you could start a family 
or maybe have children or there could also be a potential here that if you've been wanting to become pregnant um, you could be receiving uh, good news about that or somebody is wanting to work you know hard to make sure that they have or they feel like they have enough so that you can romantically start this new chapter in your life and invest you know fully in this connection and support you if you're wanting to have children and this person will want to have children too if that is you know a place where you're at in your life okay but sunflowers are very significant here okay i'm picking up on roses as well um i just got told bumblebees you could be seeing lots of bumblebees also um not just any bee i'm hearing queen bee okay so i feel like you're stepping into this kind of queen bee um type of era in your life okay now i'm reading energy rather than gender or sex as you guys know but i feel that there's a lot of positivity and optimism and excitement um for the future but also just going more with the flow and enjoying your life now okay and i feel that even if you're currently at a job okay i'm hearing um there could be a good possibility of promotion and i'm also picking up on that if you're self-employed or a small business owner um you have laid a very solid foundation in regards to this and there could be a brand new opportunity or multiple opportunities coming your way um in regards to collaborating with others you know i'm getting teamwork type of energy or if you're just someone who's like look you know i'm kind of a i'm hearing a solo artist here i'm kind of like on my own um i don't really necessarily feel the need to kind of collaborate and work with a team but there could be someone who could be hiring you for some sort of freelance work or they want to pay you. I'm hearing double for your trouble. OK, so somebody may know that you've got a lot on your plate right now and that you are very much booked and busy. But I'm hearing that somebody really wants to um, pay you pretty handsomely um, for your time, your effort, your energy into a particular project or providing of a certain service here. Um, I'm also picking up that if you're launching of a product or looking to launch of a product, um, potentially wait um, just maybe uh, another couple of weeks or so and just kind of work out the finer details and make sure you've got everything to how you want it to be until after the Mercury retrograde. And it's like from there, it's like there's no um, there's no likelihood of many issues in regards to. Um, I'm hearing transportation of the goods for some reason. Um, so some of you could be uh, using a, you know, like a courier here or, you know, you kind of work from home and you deliver certain, you know, products here. I'm picking up on someone on Shopify. Yeah, there's something that you could. Oh, I'm getting Amazon now. OK, so some of you may um you know have a few products and then you put them on amazon or etsy or what have you and you're kind of like starting off small and you've just been trying to work out the last kind of finer details in regards to that but you know very soon that this is going to be a very big payoff for you and that there's um going to a lot of be i'm hearing a lot of turnover a lot of turnover in regards to this very very interesting energy guys um, but money is definitely looking pretty peachy. OK, it's looking pretty good. So um, when these, you know, abundance and blessings start coming in and not just necessarily financially, you need to be like, yeah, I deserve that. I'm open to receive. I'm hearing, you know, that attitude of gratitude. I just saw 10, 10 on my timer. So you're definitely closing out an old cycle where things may have felt like a bit burdensome i want to say like you may have been feeling a bit tired or maybe that your efforts have potentially gone un unnoticed here or not been appreciated yeah as i say that you've potentially been burnt out for a little while tired with the nine of wands um but you're definitely closing up of something we saw the nine of wands and i said 10 10 so it's like you're so close to the finish line where you're getting this new energy coming into your life um and i'm hearing work hard play hard okay so 
you're not just going to be working hard and then having no time for yourself for that sense of self-care or looking after yourself or having a bit of fun or going out with friends or catching up with family or however this goes I feel like um, there's a lot switching up for you for the better here and uh, this is I'm hearing gonna put a big fat smile on your face okay um, I just saw 11 11 now on my timer as well so you could be seeing of those numbers but uh, let's get some more cards okay but romantically there is definitely someone who is very keen okay they're wanting to invest in a connection with you or you're feeling very much inclined to put in the work for this connection okay to start off something new but also what i'm picking up on is potentially when all this good stuff comes in even in regards to love like please try not to self-sabotage it okay don't get back into your ego and kind of having these negative thoughts or thinking to yourself oh this is too good to be true etc etc and going down the rabbit hole just know that all is well and things are working out for you and you are very much deserving of these good blessings coming in again with the sun confirmation on that thank you so much spirit i really appreciate it 12 12 on my our timer so yeah just know that good ish is coming in for you okay and it is really working out you build a very solid foundation in your life um to get to where you've got to now you've been taking the time to heal and this is paying off i'm hearing dividends for you it really really is you've been working on your shadow work your inner child kind of healing here um some of you may um kind of resonate with being a light worker i'm picking up on but you've transmuted a lot of pain and negativity and you've managed to alchemize all of that energy and flip it into something very positive and it's very i'm hearing very inspirational i'm hearing like a role model type of energy yet again with the ace of pentacles i'm hearing you've turned your pain into profit okay you've turned your your pains into profit and you're about to be coming in with a lot of profit here guys <laughs> i'm just seeing like money raining from the sky okay I'm here. I'm just. I'm just letting you know. Okay. I'm hearing. Don't spend it all at once. So if you have been given a lump sum, or you've received a lump sum, or you've been rewarded a lump sum, um, just try to kind of utilize of that monies that you've got and kind of pay off what you need to, but keep some aside. I'm hearing aside for a rainy day. Okay. As much as there's the temptation just to kind of splurge and spend it all at once and be like oh my gosh i've got all of this and now it's like i just want to be able to like fix all of my problems now um i just feel that you'll be able to sort out a few things but just keep some a little bit aside like this kind of diligent financial saving kind of um thing right okay but um yeah, money's going to be starting to look really good for you as well. Ace of Wands, your career is about to take off massively. Wow. Oh my goodness, with the Ten of Cups. Guys, this is just chef's kiss. This energy is impeccable. Guys, you're going to be feeling so emotionally fulfilled. And look, this is strong pregnancy vibes, okay? <laughs> There is definitely someone romantically who wants to have a family with you, if that potentially resonates here. Now, obviously, not all of you are here, you know, wanting to become pregnant or have children and all of that. But I am picking up on strong um, birth of a child here. I'm picking up on a baby boy. Um, but <laughs> there is definitely someone who is very, very keen to get the show on the road romantically with you but i feel like you don't see it coming but i'm hearing that's all part and parcel of it like it's a nice surprise from the universe okay that's manifesting in for you with the magician gemini virgo scorpio coming through absolutely yeah yeah get ready to be open and receive of all these abundance and blessings okay don't get cynical here guys and think oh i'll believe it when i see it type of thing with that queen of swords I feel like 
you kind of have been working on your mindset a lot and you know doing of your affirmations and that subconscious kind of um deprogramming reprogramming all of that and it it is all paying off okay it is all paying off yeah the full aries energy we're currently in aries season and there's your energy taurus with the hierophant absolutely amazing look at that with the death card scorpio energy you are going through a major metamorphosis as of right now a huge death and rebirth transformation okay and you just have a lot of really beautiful energy coming in for you and that's the truth with the ace of swords okay so if you have felt a little bit kind of restless or confused or feeling you know more tired or burnt out and you've been like i really want to have this get up and go i've got all these million things that i want to do i'm really excited about implementing them and just getting into this new chapter of, of my life but you know there's a way of just kind of settling your energy first and foremost taking more care of you putting yourself as a priority and just let the energy kind of flow and go with the flow as of right now because what is manifesting again with that magician is huge change as i say that with the tower aries and scorpio energy there is there's going to be a few things that are going to be out of your control slightly but um I feel that ultimately these things that are coming in are incredibly positive, incredibly positive. What else? I know that this is the next seven days reading, but something is so significant about now and like your, your birthday season. Okay. Maybe even something significant occurring in Leo season as well. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I'm hearing the worst is over. The worst is over. You've been through the ringer here, okay? You may have dealt with something legal, I'm wanting to say. Yeah, Two of Cups. You may have gone through a bad breakup in the past, and it, you may have felt like you kind of lost your way in a previous connection. Um, but this has taken a lot out of you, and you've been kind of slowly but surely rebuilding on yourself, as I say that with the strength card. Leo energy has taken a lot out of you, but you've gathered, you know, your strength back. You're ready for potentially new love in your life. You're not letting the past kind of taint anything new coming in for you. You're very much excited for new collaborations in regards to working with others. People may be getting um, the courage and the confidence to potentially ask you out, um, showing of romantic interest in you. There could be a person in particular who is um, kind of getting ready to let you know, look, um, I am serious about this connection with you. And um, if I show to you on some aspect beforehand that I wasn't serious, um, it wasn't necessarily anything personal about you, but I do realize that my I'm hearing carelessness could have potentially hurt you, but you actually make me incredibly happy and I want to be able to have something um, kind of restarted up or sorted out or rekindled between the two of us if there was some sort of gross misunderstanding, okay? Now, obviously, if this is someone in the past that's coming back around and it was, you know, abusive or toxic or you dealt with a narcissist or something like that, obviously, you know, give that a wide berth and move on and you have new love um, coming in for you uh, relatively soon. OK, um, so, so so much to the point where you may be juggling your options a little bit here with the, the two of pentacles or you may have two people to choose from. Yeah, but with the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, you'd be getting in touch with your intuition here. And you know that you'll make the right decision. Okay, that's for you. Okay. But obviously, in regards to the fact that we're currently in Mercury retrograde, there are going to be potential people from the past who are wanting to see, um, you know, if they can get a look in. <laughs> As I say that, there's your energy, Taurus, with the Queen of Pentacles, but you know your worth okay you know your value you put that crown back on your head you know that sense of sovereignty you are feeling a lot more kind of confident feeling good about yourself 
um, about what it is that you want. You're no longer in your head anymore here with the Eight of Swords. And a karmic cycle has definitely come to a completion with that world. Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius placements are significant. So the world is getting ready to, to bless you. Okay. To bless you after a long time of dealing with kind of painful energy from the past or stagnating energy. I'm hearing all systems go. Things are working out for you. As I think, say, that Ace of Swords flew out right underneath the, uh, the fall, okay, with the King of Cups. So absolutely, you guys definitely have, you know, love in the cards here as well, if that's something that you're interested in. But also you have new friendships, um, new collaborations in regards to business partnerships. You have people that really do love and care about you here. As I say that, there's your energy, Taurus, with the Empress. We have Libra coming through as well. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with the King of Cups. You definitely have many admirers looking at you and been like, right, um, I wonder if they're free and available. And they may be coming through and saying, look, um, you know, I thought that what we had together was just a bit of lighthearted fun or there was a, a crush kind of energy or a secret admirer type of energy or this person found you very attractive. But now they're coming to the truth and the realization that actually they want something, you know, more committed here, maybe even marriage or settling down, having a family. OK, and this could kind of, you know, take you off guard a little bit because it's like, oh, well, I was, it wasn't expecting that. But this is something that you may have kind of secretly wished and wanted. But that's coming in for you relatively soon if you want that. Yeah, two of wands with the empress bottom of the deck wow the thing is i feel that regardless of whether someone's coming into your life romantically or or not you're still forging ahead with your own plans okay you're like not having anything or anyone kind of stop you from the movement forward that you're making in your life and if people or a particular person in romantic kind of a way wants to be with you then they have to kind of um get with the program i just heard okay because i feel that you're in this position and place where things are starting to really um change in a way that you know you haven't had you know life turn out so good for you previously and now things are like on the up and up and it's all of a sudden people coming forward to showcase their interest and you may maybe like well actually I would be you know okay with being single for a little bit longer I want to focus a bit more on my career or I just want to make sure that um, I've got this uh, new contract in regards to um, my work is properly set up etc um, before I kind of dive on into a love relationship now some of you could have um, filed for a divorce okay or you went through a divorce and you've been waiting on certain paperwork um i feel that the paperwork may come through relatively soon and someone um could be signing the the documents if you've been waiting for someone to sign or you've just been waiting for the confirmation that you're kind of legally cleared from an old relationship here okay that you so then you can kind of start off anew and um I'm hearing it's it's not too too late to start over again. So some of you have been like, oh, well, you could be a little bit more mature here. And you've been like, oh, well, you know, I've been separated from this person for a while. I've been waiting for the divorce and there's somebody new coming on the scene. And I'm really interested in this person. This person's really interested in me. I would really love to see where this goes. But you've been waiting for this kind of like final nail in the coffin to do with something being completed in your life so that you feel but loose and fancy free to begin, you know, maybe pursuing or something more with this individual who you have your eye on and this person has their eye on you. OK, or maybe this is in regards to someone that you're dealing with and they've been waiting for certain things to change up in their reality before making something more official with you or starting to date you or court you in some way okay but um 
yeah there may have been a little bit of hesitation about whether to stay in a connection with someone um you know even if they are separated or keep in contact with someone should I stay should I go you know will they actually follow through with this particular divorce um or will they kind of you know still stay in it due to practical um reasons here or a matter of potential convenience or family or children or something but actually someone's like look that was a part of my life that I went through I learned what I did it's been um relatively painful and now I'm actually ready for this this major breakthrough for things to be different I'm open and receptive to things being different now and I feel like somebody could be confessing or saying look um I have been dealing with this but that's all completed now now I'm I'm hearing I'm all yours okay which is quite intriguing actually okay um I'm also picking up on guys that, yeah, your career, your finances are really transforming in a way that are going to be pretty, I'm hearing, magnificent for you, okay? So if you've been wanting to um, launch that new product, that new service, I'm getting something to do with um, global recognition, I'm getting something to do with international travel, um, you could have people pretty far and wide that are looking at you as of right now in regards to this creative endeavor or this, um, I'm picking up on a hobby that you turned into a business or some of you may have a spiritual practice as well, or you've been thinking about starting up a spiritual practice, um, maybe even an institution of sorts, or potentially you've been looking into writing um, a book, okay? you could be an author or publishing of a book um i feel like you're if you've had any creative blocks in regards to that specifically and this has been kind of getting you down i feel like there wasn't the kind of creative spark there there wasn't the inspiration there or the motivation or you just felt drained about something that came up in your life and it just taken a lot out of you and you were like i just don't feel like as of right now, I can kind of, you know, follow through and complete this. Um, I feel like that's something that's changing up for you, or you're going to be speaking with someone who's going to give you some very solid advice um, about a current situation that you're dealing with. I'm picking up on someone who's pretty wise here, who's very experienced, who knows a lot of different types of things who's going to help guide you in the right direction. Now, this could be in form of an actual human being here, guys, or I'm even picking up on that something to do with um, spiritual guidance, whereby you've been asking for signs of synchronicities from the universe. You've been like, look, okay, give me a particular sign if I should follow through on this particular thing. Um, I'm hearing all you need to do is ask. OK, so some of you have been maybe even fearful on some level about asking for additional help here in regards to other individuals or even just like the spiritual realm. OK, like your guardian angels, the angels, um, the universe, God, whoever it is that you resonate with. On some level, you may have felt like, oh, well, you know, I've gone through certain things in my life. I'm not deserving of this assistance and help um, because you went through certain experiences that gave you that kind of certain beliefs i'm getting something to do with a self-fulfilling prophecy i feel like you're breaking out of a self-fulfilling prophecy and i feel like you're now like i'm open and receptive to help in all forms now like you're not feeling too proud to kind of ask for assistance and help and there'll be because you're open to this you're going to have a lot of um a lot of people or a lot of encouragement from the universe or certain kind of um, intuitive downloads or messages maybe I'm picking up in your dreams um, or I'm even picking up on some of you getting some sort of like um, visions maybe significant here okay and this is giving you the big um, green light the thumbs up to kind of follow through with something or to go down a particular path into researching something a little bit more i just heard the student becomes the master okay so you could have been working at something for quite a while and um 
you may have been a little bit unsure about putting yourself out there fully as your true authentic self because you may have felt like not like an imposter I'm not getting that so much I'm just getting like well maybe others won't necessarily um, respect what it is that I'm doing or what I put out there will people be willing to listen to what it is that I have to say or to showcase of my story of my messages or you know, um, I'm getting something to do with channeled messages as well as there will be people who will find you at the right place at the right time to receive of these particular messages. And I'm hearing they'll be incredibly grateful and appreciative that you've kind of aligned with them at that part in their life and so that they could receive of something of great significance um, from you. OK. I'm hearing so please don't devalue yourself into thinking and feeling that what it is that you've got going on in your life isn't enough because it's more than enough okay and I feel that now you're realizing that you're enough okay and that you don't have to keep on pushing and you know keep on I'm hearing striving for perfection because I'm hearing perfection just doesn't exist so, of course, there's nothing wrong with self-development and healing and becoming the best versions of ourselves, but not to the point where it's like damages our health or is a detriment or makes us feel um, paranoid in some sort of way or kind of. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just getting that. I'm sorry if the message is coming out a little bit haphazard, but I, I just I'm getting that. OK, but. Um, yeah, you, you have some really wonderful things coming in for you. And in regards to love, there's definitely someone who's who's very serious about you. And you both have had a hard time in regards to love, but someone sees you as marriage material or that they could have a family with you. Um, or if you already have children, you know, a blended family, or if you're not wanting children, then you and um, them and with some pets. Um, but somebody is definitely daydreaming and fantasizing and having these visions of their future and wanting things to be, um, you know, a certain way with you. OK. Yeah, I just heard that somebody definitely has plans for their future that include you in it that you're not necessarily well aware of as of yet. You intuitively know that somebody is kind of including you on their plans here or wanting to incorporate you in their life in a major way um, to be with you in the long term but potentially they may have not necessarily spoken up and told you personally like face to face about this but someone will do relatively soon like kind of I'm hearing confess their love interesting someone soon could be confessing their love I'm hearing it was you all along. I'm hearing nothing and nobody compares to you. That Sinead O'Connor song. Yeah, there's definitely someone here who is kind of looking at you. I'm hearing thinking you're the bee's knees. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. I just heard I want to support you in all your future endeavours. This person, somebody definitely has your back here, okay, romantically, whether that's a new person or a past person, however it goes, but definitely there's someone who's like, I'm getting like a ride or die potential vibe here, okay, like someone is in it for the long haul and they're doing everything they can as of right now to facilitate this movement forward by working out whatever they need to because I'm hearing they want to genuinely feel worthy of you. And if at any point there was a chance where you may have not necessarily felt like, you know, worthy enough for this person or felt good enough for this person, um, they're going to basically say to you that actually it was because how they felt about you and they projected something that may have hurt you because of their own confidence issues or certain beliefs about themselves or something to do with their upbringing um, or their childhood um, or previous betrayals or hurts that they went through and experienced here and they know that actually it wasn't necessarily anything to do with you or you doing of anything wrong 
um, this person wants to highlight, I'm hearing, highlight to you that they know that what they had done in the past or how they conducted themselves um, was pretty childish or immature or reckless or that they made some sort of mistakes but they've learned through that and they've grown up a lot and they've matured and now this person is like look um, I can't change the past um, but I really want to work on this now and this person is getting ready to really fully let you know that once they come in your life um they're not going anywhere they're they're going to be loyal they're going to be solid they they have they have this sense of hope and faith that your connection will be able to i'm hearing stand the test of time that whatever comes your way how big or small this person feels like i'm with you and we've got this and I'm not going anywhere. And this person is incredibly passionate about you as well. Oh my gosh, so attracted to you. The desire from this person is on another level. They feel like all this sense your energy that's building up in them is literally, they feel like it's killing them, okay? <laughs> they feel like they can't take it anymore. And they want you to know that, look, you are the one that has the key to my heart. And this person on some level truly does know that they have the key to yours. And it's like this really beautiful potential here of opening up the heart space and just letting things organically flow between the two of you because there is mutual feelings here, mutual chemistry, um, a lot of care, respect, appreciation. This person on some level may be, you know, even put you on a pedestal for quite a while, or you put this person on a pedestal, but actually you both see of each other as true equals. And you're both knowing that um, you're deserving of someone who is um, equally yoked with you. Okay, I am getting that. I know that there was a few more love messages that came through, but obviously they did for a reason. Um, if you are traveling, okay, um, and it's just like, you know, short distance trips, okay, that shouldn't really be too much a problem, even though I know we've got Mercury retrograde here. But if you are planning on doing like some big travel, like global travel, or, you know, going to a foreign country, um, just make sure that you've got everything kind of planned and organized and nothing's left to last minute, because there may be a few disruptions or issues because of the Mercury retrograde. I'm also getting told that if you have certain information on your laptop or on your phone, make sure things are backed up, that they're saved, that you've got double copies of certain things. Um, I'm also picking up on that there may be people who um, potentially contact you back um, who may have previously kind of forgotten to contact you back or it just like slipped their mind or they've been very busy and then they kind of reach out and speak to you about something okay this could even just be a friend right i am getting that or a family member who's like oh, i'm just sorry that i wasn't able to get back to you about this or that or um i'm hearing getting together on this date but somebody could just be like oh gosh like they just remember right <laughs> okay Anything else? Yeah, I just I just keep I just heard money, money, money. So we've seen the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So this is really wonderful with the full beautiful new energy coming in for you. Whatever you've been through with this, that's I'm hearing that's long gone. That's like very temporary energy. I'm hearing pain is temporary, but it may have not been temporary. Like it felt like it was going on for a very, very long time. It's been a pretty big ordeal with whatever you've been going through. But it's coming to an end and there is this simultaneous ending and a new beginning coming in your life. And you're going to be feeling pretty damn good about it. I'm getting. OK. But anyway, that's all the messages I'm picking up on for you today. Um, there was a lot that came through, lots of different types of messages. But we have strong Leo, um, Taurus, Libra, um, Aries, um, 
we do have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio with the Magician. Yeah, Fire Sign, Aquarius. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. What's manifesting in for you is some really wonderful news with that Page of Wands. Things manifesting finally, kind of out of the blue here. That's going to provide a lot of healing for you after a lot of turbulence, okay? Um, I am definitely picking up on someone romantically kind of surrendering to this spiritual connection. And now they're really, really excited about this, okay? This person may have been a little bit stubborn, okay? They may have kind of been a bit resistant to change um, at first. But this person has done the work on themselves, and I'm hearing eager to please. Wow, eager to please. I'm hearing catered to you. Like somebody definitely wants to cater to you as well. Um, in lots of different ways here, guys. Obviously, kind of translate that to however that means. But definitely someone wants to make you feel very, very happy here. I'm getting like a strong provider, protector, um, kind of masculine energy, like an alpha male type of vibe coming through from someone. Now, this could be you and you're feeling this way about someone else or someone is definitely feeling this way about you. But um, somebody is not coming through to mess you about. They're going to be speaking their truth. I'm hearing leaving no, stir uh, no stone unturned. So it's like all the cards will be on the table in regards to an open, honest conversation with someone relatively soon. And you're just going to feel like I just had a motorbike outside. So motorbikes could be um, potentially significant here. But I, I am getting that somebody's revved up and ready to go. Or you both will feel like that way, that way once you've cleared, cleared the air with each other. And it's like all is good now. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, so those are the signs coming through, but we have um, 999-111-000-555-222-1010-333. I'm picking up on 911 and 919 may also be significant. 33 and 212 and 313 as well as. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that's all the messages that are coming through for you today. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed uh, reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you wish to support myself and the channel, there are donation links available. Um, so thank you so much to those of you who already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. If you did wish to financially donate, there's a link in the description box below for a PayPal for the channel. And there's also the other option of super thanks, which is listed underneath this video. So thank you. I'm very grateful to you guys. Even if you don't financially donate, a wonderful way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> comment down below. <laughs> Sorry, the spirit messing with me. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Oh, gosh, that was really funny. Um. I'm hearing don't take, take things so seriously. It's okay to laugh and have a giggle. There's definitely someone romantically or even just like friends or like family members where they could see that and know that you've been through a rough time, but somebody wants to kind of just help you have that pep in your step again, lighten the load, I'm hearing, okay? There's somebody really wants to see you laugh and really just be in that kind of bliss. Um, relax i'm hearing okay just kind of surrender and enjoy yourself and have have more fun have more joy in your life okay um but yeah <laughs> i don't know if that's just that oh. okay um 4444 four, four, four on my timer just as I, I i said that yeah okay so there is a lot of um spiritual kind of um interference okay um angelic guidance i want to say in regards to you your life and also a romantic connection etc but you you definitely have a lot of assistance and help in regards to that okay i just heard loved ones are never far away so this could be in regards to ancestors or passed on loved ones um i just heard that they want you to know that they're okay. I just heard, and they, and you know, they miss you. 
but they're excited for um, what you've got coming up in your future. And I'm hearing, um, you know, take it with both hands. You deserve to be happy. Anyway, guys, wow, sorry, I've just got kind of sidetracked with that. But um, yeah, so uh, even, yes, um, even if you, <laughs> sorry, I got completely thrown off now. Uh, yeah, even if you like, share, subscribe, comment down below, that's a wonderful way to energetically um, kind of donate with the channel. Um, I love reading the comments. I love your interaction here, guys. And also, um, it allows me to tap in more with your energy so I can pick up on more messages to be able to deliver throughout my readings. So thank you. You're assisting me with the growth of the channel, but also I'm assisting you as well. So it's a lovely equal exchange. So thank you very much. Um, please hit the notification bell so you guys get an alert as to when I post another video for you so you don't miss out on future updates to do with the channel or content. And um, if you um, wish to be a member, all the information that you need in regards to that is in the description box below. So thank you to my current members. You guys mean a great deal to me. And um, please feel free to check out your other zodiac sign placements for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mercury and North Node as you could receive more free messages in regards to your um, kind of timeless next seven day readings to pick up on more of the current energies. But um, sending love and light your way, many blessings. Please take care and I'll see you and speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys.